SMF Street Trader, welcome. One of the things that uh, we wanted to have for you was that uh, Main Street, the private and sector, boy, they sure don't feel as good as you do making all of that money uh, every day. You know, getting that market maker paycheck is, is quite a deal, isn't it? One of the things that consumers uh, have declined in the month of December uh, to 48.5 this month, that's lower than the medium forecast of economists. Well, that's why we never really quite listen to them, folks. Uh, one of the things, it's mounting gloom over the outlook for jobs and wages. We already know that. Jobs and wages. Well, you know, um, there is a way that you can make a living. Being an SMF Street market maker gives you the big edge and the big, big paycheck. Household purchases, which is account for about 70% of the world's largest economy, may be constrained by jobless rate. This is projected to average more than 9% through 2011. Sorry, their number is not high because we're going to go into the 10.5 range, the way that we're going, and higher going into 2011 unless they can get their work programs and stimulants ready again. This is all very old information. Uh, the thing about it is we're going into a special earnings season October 8th. And if the consumer is feeling that way, well, why are they out there spending a lot? So we're going to make a lot of money during them, during that earnings season. The median forecast of 75 economists survey pro projected the index would drop to 50.1. Estimates range from 48 to 55. The gauge average 96.8 during the economic expansion that ended in December of 2007. That started off at that 2003 bottom, and we know what that was about, the Iraq war with Bush and all of that stuff that you lived through. Let's keep moving on. Credit's influence. We already know that it's not. Is it really about credit? No. I don't think that any of these people and their opinions are correct. What I do believe is is that people are so uncertain they don't know what they're doing. They don't even want to borrow any money. But then the government is going down all this other wacky road and doing all kinds of things. One of the things we do know that stocks rose, look, when things are bad, that's when stocks go up. And the thing about it is that the reality of a slower environment and everything that we've been talking about for the last three years straight, but even at the beginning of the turn of the decade, um, there's something about the Federal Reserve has another ace up their hole as far as trying to stimulate and try to you know, keep things from going. But stocks slid on the day today. So basically, look, hey, from 48 to 55, okay, gauge average 96.8 during the economic expansion. Well, yeah, it sure should have. Everyone was looting the pot, and we know what happened. The bubbles were created. That's not the kind of expansion that America needs. They need productivity, and they need to control the world output and input and they need to capitalize and continue to capitalize in the way of free markets and free markets you know with some regulation as well well do for that so basically that is a good recipe in the small businesses and everyone else that want to feel better to turn these things around is there's a lot to do to turn the consumer confidence around anyway MMTs I'll see you in the live trading room in the morning and we'll go from there